Hi, it's Ruby. Thanks for clicking on my video. I know that the Disney stores are not open in a lot of places, but the Disney store is open at Downtown Disney. So I thought it'd be fun to walk you through what I was seeing for our inventory. And also if you're interested in kind of just knowing generally how Downtown Disney is now running, check out my other video, I'll link it below. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like my content. If you're considering going to Downtown Disney in Anaheim, California, I will let you know that there is two ways you can access the store. Either you're gonna wait in the line with social distancing in mind outside of the store until they let you in, or you're gonna enter a virtual queue and come back at a later time. For us, it only took about 15 minutes waiting in the line. It seemed pretty long, but honestly, it moved really quickly, so it wasn't that bad. Also, they count and limit the amount of people in the store at a given time, but once you're inside, you have access to everything. And the Halloween merchandise has dropped officially. I actually missed it by a few days in store, but if you wanna check that out, you can look at it at shopdisney.com. I wanna point out that this store has had some major renovations in the last year. And I remember going probably late last year to Downtown Disney and going into World of Disney and seeing a lot of the store was actually like blocked off. You couldn't even enter it. And now when I was walking through the store, it was just like a complete redo. It kind of reminded me of the World of Disney store at Disney World at Disney Springs, but it was really nice. It was like very bright, kind of had like more of a modern feel to it. And a lot of updates, not only the way that they put the merchandise in the store, but also the virtual elements that I'll kind of highlight later in this video. I did look at things, but I tried not to touch stuff unless I was going to buy it or was considering buying it. Most of the pricing was available on the wall, but some of the pricing was not available on the wall. You had to actually touch the merchandise. So that was something I think that maybe they need to look into for future, considering we just don't wanna to be touching everything with the situation we're in right now in the country and the world. But it was pretty much the same pricing I'm used to. I was kind of expecting a spike in pricing, but I was pleasantly surprised to see it was still the same price overall for what I would expect or what I've seen in the past. Not super cheap by any means, but you know, the same. Let's talk about what's actually in the store. When you first get in, I saw a ton of Pixar merchandise and I did see some things from the movie Onward, which I was super excited about. You just saw that in the previous clip. It was not really organized necessarily by like theme or you know, all the Pixar stuff is on one side or classic Disney is on the other side. So you definitely would need to walk through the store to see what they have. For example, here I am showing you some items from the home selection, but there was additional home items maybe in the middle of the store. And I would just recommend walking through and just looking around to see what is available. I did like this kind of sleek version of mugs on the wall and broadcasting that so that you kind of knew, okay, I can come over here and find a ton of mugs, but you could also find mugs throughout the store. That was the same situation with the Mickey ears as well. There's like an area there just for ears, but you can also find them throughout the store. Okay, I love this ink and paint collection. Let me just say that. They rolled this out in February, I believe, of this year, and it's traditionally themed around classic Disney items, and it just kind of highlights, you know, the world of animation, animator's palette, think, you know, how does color affect a visual? How does it change or heighten the way that something looks? And I just love it. It's a throwback to all of our favorite Disney characters. And it's almost like you're looking at somebody who's painting a picture and maybe they stepped away for a second or maybe they're just adding color to the parts of the picture that are really captivating. It just really catches your eye and it just is such a beautiful line. I I recommend looking online as well if you're not able to go into the store because they have a ton of merchandise around this. It seems to be the big items that they're highlighting right now in the store but also online. And I did show some of the window paintings that you see when you're waiting in line to get into World of Disney and you saw a ton of that ink and paint merchandise broadcast there as well. 
Now I'm gonna highlight some of the sweet treats that I saw in the store. I have a habit, whenever I go to a Disney store, I always grab a couple bunches of the Mickey Mouse suckers and also the Minnie Mouse suckers. And they're priced pretty well for the amount you get. You get like six in there for like seven or eight bucks. And they're also really great gifts and I use them for Christmas items too to just add a little magic and share. Okay, let's look at this hat wall. It's massive. Look at that. It's just like so many different hats. I'm not super into wearing hats. I love ears. That's more my thing. But they just had a ton of things and I loved just the way that they had the signage there. Even though you can find hats throughout the store, it is kind of cool to highlight that. Here's additional items from the ink and paint line. These are really cute backpacks and they're like lightweight. So I liked that too. You know, when you're in the park, sometimes you want to take a couple things, but you don't want to have like a huge bag. So that works really well. Next, I'm going to show you the Christmas items. If you've seen any of my Christmas videos, you know I'm big on having my Disney ornaments. And this year will be nothing different. We have a bunch of ornaments that are now available, not only in the store, but online. And typically, we get those Christmas and July items and ornaments all through the year. But this year, there seems to be a big emphasis on Nightmare Before Christmas. But they're also continuing that anniversary style ornament thing where they you know show a scene from Mary Poppins in appreciation of that movie or the Aristocats or something like that and I just absolutely love it you should also check out online because every year they highlight the princesses and they might maybe show the character with an animal or maybe a scene where they're singing or something like that but this year it's like a huge emphasis on these beautiful gowns like their clothes and I love it I thought it was really nice and sometimes they have the harder shaped ornaments I guess and then the softer shaped ones and this is kind of a mix between that material for the softer dress and then the hard shape for the body and figurine of the ornament so definitely look into that all right, so now I'm kind of just panning towards the left of the store. Here's a back view of that area I talked about where there was a ton of Pixar items. Some stuff from Finding Nemo, which is an awesome movie, and so I loved that. And then on the back wall, there was also some Cars items. And of course, Toy Story, our favorite, <laughs> with um, Forky. And my mind definitely went to, okay, you know, how am I going to walk through here if I ever get to come with my kids because they love Pixar? But but they had a ton of things for the Pixar movies and paying tribute to that. I also want to point out that there was a sign indicating that folks should make sure they're maintaining social distancing in the store. I know that we've all seen the memes and the videos that went viral of people collecting and I just wanted to make sure that you knew we don't have limitations once we get in the store. So social distancing has to be practiced kind of on your own. Otherwise, you could get clusters of people in small areas. So keep that in mind. Baby Yoda has finally arrived at the Disney store. Oh my gosh, I've seen a ton of Baby Yoda and Star Wars merchandise, Mandalorian merchandise online, but it was super awesome to see the older version of Yoda, the backpack Yoda that we see all in the parks, and then also the Baby Yoda items and merchandise in the store. There was like a huge area for Star Wars items, and I went in there and I was looking around for things for my son, but it was awesome going and seeing that. And with the Mandalorian season two coming out in the fall, it was just perfect timing to be able to see that stuff right in front of you and get to kind of look it over and decide what you wanted to take home. No shortage of Star Wars items and I celebrate that because I wasn't a big Star Wars fan but between the new lands that they have and also with the Mandalorian on Disney Plus it's just really spiked my interest in the franchise. I want to say that I actually don't know the price of this baby Yoda. I didn't want to turn it over to look at the pricing that was on the back of it. So that's another example of, you know, it was a little bit different for me to get prices for you guys. I tried to zoom in on signage, but it was a little bit harder. Okay, here's that interactive and additions that I've been talking about in the store. So they actually had some video shorts playing and I've seen that in Disney stores, like regular Disney stores, but I didn't see it previously at the World of Disney. So that was pretty cool. And then this little animation on the floor along with the ink and paint animation that I showed earlier is just kind of like an interactive approach that they're trying to do and kind of add to experience. I think it also helps when you have kids in the store, right? To keep them entertained. 
I would also point out that with the size of the store and how much space and merchandise is there, if you really wanted to look at everything, I think you could be in that store for a good half an hour to 45 minutes. And that's just looking around. Once you really get hooked on something or you're actually making purchases, you could be in there for an hour. And I was super excited to see that the Milan merchandise had dropped. These ears were absolutely gorgeous. I posted it on my Instagram page. I was so excited to see this. I can't even tell you. And I've been bummed out about this movie constantly being pushed out. But I did just hear that it is going to be released on Disney+. Plus but they're gonna charge an additional amount of money to see it. Okay, you guys, I literally filmed a Disney Plus video twice and for whatever reason, it would not upload. And I talked about the fact that I thought that Disney could definitely make some additional money or move the theater experience from in AMC or Regal into an actual home or living room by doing this option. So I am actually very excited about that. I really am looking forward to seeing that moving. It also, I'm just really excited that they're really paying homage to some of these characters that really changed, at least for me as a young girl, when I was growing up, seeing somebody be that strong, it really did impact me. So I'm super excited that Milan is gonna have her moment to shine. In and I can't wait to see it in my living room. And then when it comes out in theaters, I'll go see it there too when I feel comfortable. So here's me kind of just panning across the store. And this is the checkout area in the middle of the store. I want to remind you guys that they have renovated a lot of this and that includes the checkout counters. Each of the checkout counters has unique, I guess, tributes to the Disney classic characters and also Walt Disney. Additionally, behind each of the cast members, there's an interactive, I'd say like poster where it looks just like a regular Disney poster and then it will dance or change the theme into something else. And there's also some beats to the creators and animators from those classic movies. So definitely spend a little bit of your time looking at the checkout counter if you can and then also behind the cast members if you stand on the side. It's definitely something that Disney added in as details and I really am a girl that appreciates the details. Those Pixar ears are amazing by the way. I didn't buy any ears this time. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have been secretly hoping that the outlet stores when they open that they will have a lot of the merchandise that maybe we didn't get to see in the winter and springtime based off of the closures. And so I am gonna try to hit an out store and I'll be sure to share with you what I find in the store. All right guys, well that's all I had for today. I want to let you know that I'll also be dropping a video on the food and dining experience at Downtown Disney. And I just wanna say I really appreciate everybody's support. Please be sure to like, comment, and share this video if you enjoyed it. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.